long and I didn't even tell anybody that I was going live y'all this is real random for me on a Saturday grab you a drink if you're coming in I can't even see comments hopefully I can see them when you guys come in but um, I just randomly wanted to jump on and go live um, the boys are at work and Kaya's here with me um, but uh, I'm making all I'm gonna do is be putting together a like a dump mix like random snacks from the Dollar Tree and making a like a like a Chex Mix thing so I got this container from the Dollar Tree I know people are just like coming in first of all grab you a drink I have like a mimosa here and my new glasses from Aldi oh now I'll see comments hey y'all everybody say hey when you come in give me a like everybody that comes in hit that like button um hey y'all hey everyone I randomly came on so I'm sure people are probably like cleaning or out and about because that's is so pretty in georgia right well atlanta hey y'all hey y'all hey everyone i hope you are having a wonderful saturday so far i'm starting with a mimosa yes ma'am i am i just had two boiled eggs and now i'm having a mimosa and my new glasses from aldi y'all tell me how cute these are first of all from aldi two of them for like the low low go to aldi today if you haven't went y'all hey everyone mm. Woohoo! I mean, this is a strong one. I, I guess it's a mimosa. I don't know what you call it, but <laughs> actually, I don't. We're not gonna call it a mimosa because it's um this, this instead of orange juice. But this is um orange mango, and instead of champagne, it's actually tequila. And it's um was it Kendall Jenner's uh, tequila brand? Let me show you guys. Hold on. It is this brand. It is the 818, this brand. But that's all I had. I was going to have some champagne, but that's it. Hey, y'all. So literally, let me just, I'm going to answer some of y'all's questions. But literally, um, I'm just, I got a ton, of, a ton of snacks. Not necessarily health conscious snacks, but we're going to dump, we're going to make a dump mix. So on TikTok, I'm always talking about TikTok, but on TikTok, I saw this girl who makes like a Chex Mix every week for the start of the week and she does just random stuff. So that's what I thought. I was like, you know what? I'm going to put together like a Chex Mix of all the random snacks that I found at Dollar Tree and then we can just snack on it during the week. Now, it's not health conscious, but you guys know, well, some of it is like skinny kettle pop. Some of it is, but some of it's just like fun treats. So we're going to do that. Also, y'all stay tuned. So I have a Dollar Tree haul uploading today. You'll see me in the same shirt. So I have that coming up. So y'all stay tuned for that. I'll post it probably later on today. Um, oh, what's right on my, this says love relentlessly. You got to hold your arm the right way. Because when you, y'all know when you, when you get tattoos on your arm, because Cash recently got a tattoo on his arm. Um, it's crazy because when you turn your arm, whichever way it's gonna twist that's the only thing i don't like about tattoos on the arm right here like it's perfect straight up and down but if you go moving it just looks crazy but yeah it says love relentlessly like never stop loving y'all thank you i actually got this it's an american eagle shirt but it's from marshall's and i got it for like six bucks y'all and the back ties and i like like if you eat like extra tacos for the day or whatever i like flare shirts and I have leggings on, but I love the back, how it goes low and covers me up. I just like the flowy. I love like boho. Like my style is everywhere, y'all. Hey, from California. No, no, no. It's a tattoo. I have that tattoo. I have several. I'm actually going to be going to get an, a new tattoo soon with Cash getting his. It made me really want another tattoo. So, um, yeah, I have one here. This is love is greater than ups and downs or love is greater than highs and lows and then this is love relentlessly and i have several more hey from iowa hey y'all hey everybody thanks for jumping in i know this is like so last minute i was just sitting here i just finished the haul and i was like while that's uploading let me jump on and go live because i was going to do a video of making this checks mix but it's going to be too short to do a whole video so how are y'all doing this sunday Y'all, my hair is going crazy. What are y'all doing today? It is so, it, what's the weather where y'all are at? Here, it's literally gorgeous outside. So pretty. Hello from Kansas. 
You have 13 tattoos? That's, I, y'all, tattoos, once you start getting them, they're addicting. I, okay, so I want an arm tattoo, but then like my style switches so much. I just feel like if I get it, am I going to want it like a year later? That's the only thing. I like little, little, little tattoos here and there, but, um, Let's see, it's Saturday. Yes, did I say Sunday, y'all? It's Saturday, yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry, I might have just messed up. It's raining. Oh, it rained all day yesterday. Yesterday, I literally did nothing. The kids didn't go to school yesterday. They had like a field day at school, so they didn't have to go if they weren't included in the field day. So, of course, Cayman, he's a senior, and Kaya, they both just decided they didn't want to do the field day thing, so they stayed home yesterday, and it rained so hard the entire day. I posted it on Instagram. Like, it rains so hard. But today, it's like 80. It's like not 80 yet. It's like 70. Will you share your favorite? Oh, air fryer recipes? Yeah, y'all, I use the, almost every, every recipe that I cook is in my air fryer. I absolutely love that thing. Like, I wish I could flip, flip the camera, but I don't think I can while I'm on live like this. But it's sun shining and beautiful. I have my doors open. It's like the beautiful spring day. I want to be at the park like painting. Literally, I want to paint a canvas at the park right now and just sip on a mimosa or have a picnic. I love this weather. The only thing is that eventually the, pot, the, the pollen is out, but it'll eventually get too much. So what, what do y'all do on these days? Yay! I'm so glad you started working out. Y'all, you feel so much better when you start working out, even if you're just walking. Even if you're just taking a walk, y'all. Mm. Let's start making this. So, I got this container right here. I already had to wash it. Um, it looks like this. And I got this from Dollar Tree. And um, cleaning the house. Y'all, I need to clean. So, I want to film. I'm trying to declutter my closet and go through everything because I have lost a lot of weight. I want to get rid of stuff. Um, so, that video should come. I just got to get, you know, you got to be motivated when you deep, deep clean. And I really want to do that so bad, y'all. Oh, it's snowing. Y'all, I would love for, like, I love this weather, but I would love for the snow. I wish we could go on vacation to, like, Colorado or something. Or Utah. I want to go to Utah so bad, y'all, to see the salt flats and just the mountains and the snow and go snowboarding. We've never done that. We always go to the beach and stuff. We've never did like a snow vacation. And I want to so bad. We're about to be going on vacation, y'all, so stay tuned for that. So for spring break, the kids and I and their friends, like, and my sister, like, I have a group of us all going to the beach. So that's going to be fun. We're going to be gone for like a whole week. So I'm excited for that. We have not went on vacation in a while as a, like a whole family. So stay, I will be vlogging that. Y'all grab you something to drink. What y'all drinking right now? Is it lunch? What time is it? It's 1.17. Mm. Yeah, we're going for a week and I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so ready for just a vacation. But of course, I'm going to work on my vacation as well. I'm going to film. I want to get a lot of content when I go. I love getting content when we go on vacation. It's so pretty just to see things outside of where you currently live. Sweet tea. I love me some sweet tea, y'all. Water in a beverage. Water is my beverage. Yeah, look, this is, this is ice drink, so no calories here, y'all. Orange mango, zero sugar. Okay, it might have calories. Does it have five calories? And then the 818 tequila. It was supposed to be a mimosa, but I was like, it's Saturday. I'm relaxing. I did a haul, already did a haul, so that's uploading for you guys. And then I was like, let's go live. I wanted to go, I would love to go to a Mexican restaurant right now and have tacos and tequila, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh, Ocean, Ocean City. Our go-to beach spot is Panama City because it's close enough to drive and it's gorgeous water. Like literally, the water is like, turquoise blue so pretty oh black raspberry sparkling love that y'all i was drinking a sparkling water in my haul that i hauled i did a haul today okay well i want to get started while we're talking to y'all so i got this get started i'm gonna start with popcorn and i got two different kinds from dollar tree i got the skinny pop butter and the skinny pop kettle corn so y'all, the girl really inspired me on TikTok. Like she makes it every week. And then of course she probably eats it within like the first three days. 
but um i just want to make like a different snack mix just you know when you're walking through the kitchen and you want something to snack just grab your handful real quick vodka drinks yes so i was gonna have that too this is my favorite vodka y'all of all times it's ciroc this is a small bottle this is summer watermelon so if you if you ever have ciroc try the summer watermelon you see there's like a little bit left um and mix it with these ice drinks literally so good literally so good and there's so many different flavors like get the watermelon there's one of these what is it watermelon or kiwi strawberry with that summer watermelon it's so so good i'm gonna start with some of this popcorn we're gonna make a, a snack mix y'all let's make us a oh my gosh this smells so good oh what did i say oh new seafood yum this is good i mean cat how many calories? 56 calories per cup. Oh, uh, but vodka? Vodka has no carbs. Vodka is okay. And tequila. They don't have carbs. And if you drink it with, like, don't drink it with regular juice. Drink it with like this. And only a glass. Like, this is all I'm going to have. Just a glass. And half of this is the juice, you know? I'm not the juice. What do you call this? sparkling water hi karen okay so we're gonna make this i need to put this down a little i don't know how to do that i'm gonna put it down a little bit but i'm gonna start with this is the kettle popcorn so i'm gonna start with a little of that and then we got the butter the butter popcorn the skin hey y'all hey everyone thank y'all for joining oh this butter smells even better um Oh my gosh, have y'all ever tried that? The butter powder on that? Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. It's American Eagle, but I got it from, it was either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Y'all always get those places com confused. But I, it's like flowy. <laughs> I love these kind of shirts. And I, I'm like, I love boho, the boho look. And just, I love it, y'all. Myrtle Beach. I haven't been to Myrtle Beach. Hey everyone, hey y'all hit the like button when you come in. That always helps out the channel when you hit the like button. I like the, oh you like the last video? Hopefully Kaya's going to do some more videos y'all. I've been talking to her. Okay, so y'all stay tuned. So Cayman is going to, I talked Cayman into doing a fitness video with me. Just because y'all have seen my journey. But that boy has made a complete life change. Like, he is ripped, y'all. Cayman is ripped. Oh, and if you watch my Aldi haul, I um, hauled the weighted vest that I was going to put in his Easter basket. I went ahead and gave it to him, and he has been wearing it every day, y'all. That thing is heavy, but he loves it. So let me put some of this in here. This is the butter popcorn. So we got butter and sweet. So we got your sweet and savory. Yes, I love flowy shirts. These are the shirts you can wear with, like, some tight skinny jeans, right? Put you a nice heel on or a little booty. And you can still look cute, like for a date out, but you can go eat tacos because you have room for your stomach. <laughs> or leggings. I have leggings on now. But that's why I love flowy shirts. I'm always buying flowy shirts. Hey, from Maine. Okay, so we did our popcorn, y'all. And then now we're going to add, I thought we would do like, okay, some honey, some teddy bear. This is all stuff from Dollar Tree. Thank you. Uh, thank y'all. Yeah, y'all, I can't personally do the lashes, but Kaya can. No, Kaya doesn't use the Ioni lash glue. She used a glue called Duo. Kaya's in her room. She's actually, she just got the shower. She's doing her makeup and all of that. I think she has a friend that's coming over. The boys are at work. They usually work today until like six. Um, sunny weather. Yes, it's sunny here too so sunny orlando denver y'all i want to go to i want to go to denver i want to go to denver so bad these are bigger than i thought i should have got the littler ones but these are the honey bears so i'm gonna add a couple of these these honey are good so i'm gonna add some of these we're making another dollar tree snack mix a dump mix just real random stuff so far we've used both of these oh my gosh have y'all tried these honey oh my goodness 
That is good, and I need to watch out. I only have one. Bermuda. Hey, we're going to use some of these. So Dollar Tree has the Jet Puff. Missouri. Look at y'all. Everyone from everywhere. Oh, watching on TV. Yes, y'all. These bear cookies are so good. So, so good. And then I'm going to use some of these marshmallows. I'm talking about y'all. I put too much. It's all right. Marshmallows ain't. What, what are marshmallows? High calorie? No, but I'm going to put a little bit back, y'all. That was a lot. We got to have room for it. Look at all our mixes so far. Okay, that's all the same color almost so far. Yep, chocolate covered raisins. I'm doing it. Again, this is for everybody, not just me. North Georgia, Carolina. Hey, y'all. Yes, y'all, I'm going to visit Denver. I want to go to Colorado, and I want to go to Utah. So, so bad. I want to go to the mountains. Oh, the marshmallows got stuff all over my hands. Hey, y'all. Long Island. Thank y'all for watching. So I'm going to sprinkle these in there. Look how good this is looking. I'm so excited. Then they had these pretzel rounds. Again, if you're just coming in, this is not no health conscious dump mix, but we're just going with it. It's just a little treat, little snack mix. I love, look, these, these are like little balls. So you add those in here. Look how good this is looking. We got Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh yeah, Michigan. Oh, oh y'all, I wanna go to Michigan too. Michigan is so pretty. And Wyoming, I wanna go to Wyoming. Look at these, these look so good. Yeah, I was, y'all, I was just so excited to do a live, but I didn't even tell anybody. I just randomly picked a time. Cause it's almost like if I tell everyone that I'm gonna do it, something ends up happening where I can't do it. So then, yeah, but I put Cheerios in there. Do y'all see all this? This is looking, oh, let's get some craisins. Love these. Germany, what time is it in Germany right now? Cayman is working, Cayman and Cash, they're both working. And Kaya's in her room, she just got out of the shower, so they're getting ready. Okay, so I'll put some of the cranberry. So I had a minute, fellas on the couch sleeping. The cats are on the balcony. I have my door open, so the cats are like, they love the balcony, y'all. Okay, we got salted peanuts. Should I? Yeah, I want to do this. But see, once I put peanuts, Cash can't eat it. He's not going to eat it anyway. He doesn't like stuff like this. Hopefully, it'll get ate. Everybody's picky with their diets these days in, in the house. Okay, so I'm adding some peanuts. Oh, that had some whole, whole peanuts. Aww. <clears throat> Salted peanuts. <laughs> All right, the last, I got two last things. We got raisins and then yogurt covered cranberries. It's going to be hard to even mix that up. Look at that. If you have company coming, or, you know, I'm going to put all of those. If you have company coming, make one of these snack mix, y'all. Oh, I have, it's been a while since I've done a live. I think my last live was when I hit 100,000. I think so, y'all. Wasn't that it? That was my last live? Oh, hey, everyone that's watching. Dump in a big bowl. Yeah, I'm going to try, um, see if I can still mix it because there's a little room at the top. And these are raisins. Um, look how pretty this looks, though, first of all. I'll pour all of them in there. There's not much in there. But look how pretty this looks. And then we're going to mix it. Oops, oops, oops. Hey, y'all. Oh, it's 6.30 in the morning. Uh, PM. Oh, it's 6.30 at night. Okay. Let me see if I can, is this going to strut? Okay, so now we're going to mix, y'all. Let's see if it, oh, it's probably should have put the popcorn. You're right, I'm going to have to use a bowl. Let's see if I can get it to the bottom. <laughs> I did it like a little bit. Shake it. It's trying, y'all, it's trying. I probably should have definitely put it in a bowl and mix and then re-put it in here. Should I do that? I should do that. It's going to be for... Oh, it's going, it's going, y'all. Look, it's going down there. Yeah, y'all. 
I just wanted some type of snack. I watched that girl on uh, TikTok, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I could do that with a bunch of Dollar Tree stuff. Hers looks so good. She just does random stuff. Just a little snack. It's good to see y'all. Well, I can't see y'all, but it's good to <laughs> hear from y'all. E, see y'all. Is that what they call it? E. Oh, it looks so good, y'all. And then you can just make it with random stuff. Oh, yeah, the skip. They didn't have the white. They just had the kettle and then the butter one. I love y'all. As long as... <laughs> right, no. This looks good, though. Uh, look at the little mix. I'm excited. Hey, y'all. Good afternoon, everyone. My video, the new Dollar Tree, will be out today. It'll be out a little bit later today. Like, it's, our, it's uploading right now as we're actually talking. Keep shaking. <laughs> I'm going to keep shaking. Y'all, it's pretty mixed. It's pretty mixed. Norway. Oh, it's raining in Maine. Y'all, it was raining like crazy here yesterday. Louisiana. Did your friend? Yeah. Uh, yes. The apartment gift. Yes. Thank you. Thank y'all for my black. Yes, American Eagle, and I got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of them places. But look at this, y'all. It is done. And I love this. This has got the little top. This is like for a little cereal thing. So good, y'all. This is a little treat today. All I've had today was two boiled eggs. So it's okay if I have some of that. Literally two boiled eggs, and it's what? One? One thirty. Athens, Georgia. Y'all love Athens. Kai and I went to Athens, what was it, last spring break? So this is our mix. Look at that. It's mixed different on each side. Look at it. It's pretty mixed up, y'all. And the more that you eat out of it, it'll mix up even better. So y'all go make you a Dollar Tree dump mix, especially if you're having company come over. Mix sweet with savory. Mmm, I'm gonna try these little pretzel balls. Jamaica! Mmm, look at that. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be good. And this is perfect for if you have like teenagers come over, take them to the Dollar Tree, let them pick all their favorite snacks, dump it all together, and let them snack on it all throughout the night. So good. And these little honey bears, oh my goodness, y'all, look. I'm here for it. Mm. Oh, I'm glad you got some stuff from Aldi. Yes. I love eggs. Y'all, this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Hey. Yeah. Make you some Dollar Tree dump mix, y'all. Make you some. This is so good. And you can have a theme behind it if you want to go for like a s'mores theme, which kind of this has. The marshmallows, the graham cracker, uh, the chocolate raisins, like so good. You can do like a um, what's in the mix, all these things. If you're just popping in, it's a Dollar Tree dump mix. You just go through there, find random stuff. We got this popcorn, butter, the kettle. We got craisins. So I got regular craisins, and then I got yogurt-covered craisins. We got chocolate-covered raisins, and then we had regular raisins, which is a good. Those are good. We got marshmallows, Teddy Grahams, Honey Nut Cheerios, peanuts, and pretzels. Y'all, so good. So good. Again, you can get creative. Just let your, um, you can do that for Easter, too. You can just get make it like an Easter theme or pastel colors. You could do... Y'all, Dollar Tree has so much candy and snacks. Oh, hey! Uh, yeah, y'all, I barely go live. I need to go live more. We should go live one night. I've been planning to go live one night and have, like, sushi and drinks. That would be so much fun. Always get my sushi from Kroger, y'all. If you have not tried sushi from Kroger, definitely do so. It's not like... It's in Kroger, but it's like, well, where I live, the sushi area in Kroger, it's like an own little restaurant. It's like 
separate from Kroger, but in Kroger. Oh, it's really nice. I love it. The sushi is fabulous, especially the grilled um, salmon. So good. Oh, mm. you will be so happy with that Lidl. Y'all, Lidl and Aldi, amazing. And Lidl has a section in the middle, just like Aldi, that has like clothes, shoes, just like random weird stuff. Um, oh, y'all are so sweet. Yes, Cayman and Cash work at the same place. They both work at the same place. So that's good. Ca they can ride together. Sometimes Cash doesn't work the same time Cayman does, so I have to take him and pick him up. But, um, yeah. So they work together, which is really good. And Cash is still living at home. He hasn't moved into the dorm yet because he's still waiting on his dorm. They're, like, backlogged with that. So he is still here. And I believe he's going to go on vacation with us. We're all we're going somewhere for spring break. Oh, yeah. Kroger sushi is amazing. I'm telling you. I have told so many people about it, and they're like, you wasn't lying. Like, it's so good. I go and get the spring rolls, the um, avocado rolls, like grilled salmon sushi. It's so good. Mmm. Y'all, Aldi was killing it this week with their sales of non-grocery items. They had so many, and this is one of them. Like, this glass is everything. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, what are y'all doing for dinner tonight? We did, did all this talking about sushi. I think I'm going to go get sushi tonight. I have some steaks, though. I need to cook. Oh, Cash, okay. Y'all want me to tell you about Cash's trip? He didn't like it. He did not have fun. So, if you don't know, if you're on my Instagram, you'll probably know, but Cash went on a... Uh, his first ever like college trip he flew with his friends like he was meeting some friends that was in his high school that go to college in Florida now so him and another friend flew to Florida um, to visit him like on the campus and they were gonna get a house like they were gonna rent a house and all of this well you know you're dealing with college boys here on a limited budget so he was like, mom, that was the worst trip ever. I was like, oh my goodness, Cash. So he said, basically, everybody didn't come prepared. Like all the college boys weren't prepared financially. Cash works and his other friend that went with him from Georgia, they both work. Actually, they both work at the same place. So they saved money, you know, for the trip. But everybody else, like after the flight, you know, after they had the money for the flight, they didn't put in money for like food for going to the club or going places so he was just like nobody ended up having the finances to do anything the house nobody wanted to put in on the house so they ended up staying in a dorm room on the campus and then like it was just a mess he was like never again mom never again I was like yeah that's what it's like in college you just got to make sure you <laughs> you just got to make sure you plan it with the right people who are prepared Cayman works at the same place Cash works. Yeah, they work together. I don't necessarily want to say it just, just for, just be careful, y'all. I don't want to say it, but they work together. Dinner tonight, meatloaf. Y'all love meatloaf. Meatloaf is so good. Oh, my goodness. The cats are on the balcony just looking over the thing. It is so pretty outside. Oh, thank y'all. I've been trying to curl it lately, just using the hot curlers. Um, I'll, I wish I could get one of those Dyson things, but they're always sold out, and those are so expensive. But um, I just hot curl it. I only do six. I literally only do six hot curls. Yes, yes, I needed a book. That's what he said. Like, I knew when he went. I was like, it's... When you're used to going on vacation with your mom and she has everything planned and you can eat and like dinners are prepared, where we're going is prepared and everything is paid for, it's different. But when he went on his own with other college boys who may not work, you know, they're on a college budget. So there's only so much you're going to be able to do. And he just was not prepared. Like it was not prepared. Well, he was just a bunch of the other boys were not, was not prepared. Oh, thank y'all. Uh, sloppy Joe's. Oh my goodness. I haven't had those in so long. How much was the chunky blanket? I believe the blanket. Ooh, I believe the blanket was 29. Let me see 
if I have a receipt. Hold on, let me see. My receipt should be in here, but the question is, where is the receipt? Um, because I have a lot. It's gonna take forever. And y'all, I gotta go grocery shopping. So bad. Aldi, found the receipt, found the receipt. Nope, yep, nope. This was from the second store I went to. The Pilates set was 24. Let's see, y'all. It's got to be in here beside that first one. It was a big receipt, though, because I had got all that stuff. There is no telling. I believe... Y'all, I believe it was... What is this it? This is it. I believe... 29. Right there. 29 at the top. So it was $29.99. And then what else does it say? The... The two coffee cups, the double line coffee cups was eleven ninety nine. The uh, the canisters were thirteen ninety nine. Oh, that storage ottoman that was only nineteen. And the two two wine glasses was nine ninety nine. Y'all, there it's killer. It's literally killer. And those bathrobes, I know I was questioning the price. It was fourteen ninety nine. Oh my god. Oh what did you fella no sir? Y'all see? And no sir fella in the um what do you call it? The collapsible seagrass basket was only $7.90. I think it was on sale for because it was for a week before. Oh yes. Fella, come here. Yeah. Let's see if he'll come. Fella! Come here. Mm. Come here to mama. Come here. Let's say hey to everyone. Y'all, my thighs hurt so bad from working out in the gym the other day. Say hey. See, he had a haircut. He looks a little crazy when he first gets a haircut, y'all. He looks like the girl on Incredibles. But um, he, he it grows so fast. Fella, everyone says, say hey. They said, why are you barking? They don't like that. Why are you barking at everybody? Here, put your feet right there. Say hey to everybody. Everybody saying, hey, he needed a haircut so bad. That baby needed a haircut. He was sleeping. Something woke him up, though. Was you sweepy? <laughs> He'll grow into his haircut, y'all. It's, it's, it always looks like a shocker because I let him grow out so long. He, um, look how he's looking. Let your little girl out. Yeah. He's looking like, mama, what you doing? Yes, he looks like the, the the lady on Incredibles. You know the the um I don't know the name of it, y'all, but when they cut him, how they cut his hair, he looks like he's got a bob. Look at him, he looks like the girl on Incredibles. But he grows into it, y'all. This will be grown out in two weeks. Literally, he'll look like a little shag dog in two weeks. He's hilarious. It grows. Yeah, Edna. Yep, that's what he looks like. I literally put a picture. No, sir, now. See, oh, you were just fine. I put a picture, I showed the kids, I was like, he looks like Edna on uh, Incredibles. I put a picture of him and that to go so funny. But he was, he has such long, I let him grow so long, he got matted in certain areas and they just had to, they had to cut him. Three wigs. Oh, did they really? Mm. Y'all, that lady said they had three wick candles half off. Here, let me wash my hands real quick after holding him. Okay, so I got to literally, I need to check more on his breed because they considered him a teddy bear, but I know teddy bear is not a breed. He's a mix of like three breeds. So he looks like he has some multi poo in him. He looks like he has, um, like that's as big as he's going to get. He's got several different breeds. I have to look on his paperwork, y'all. I don't remember the exact. I hope I can do more lives. I just need to get into the habit of doing it. Um, St. Patrick's Day three wick. Well, y'all, I'm going to have to go check the St. Patrick's Day stuff. I mean, I, if the candle smells good, I don't mind it being green or having St. Patty's Day. You know, if you buy a candle for the smell. So I'm going to, I got to go to Aldi anyway to go grocery shopping. So I'm going to check when I go grocery shopping. I didn't have enough cart space to go grocery shopping at the same time I went non-grocery shopping so 
and also if you ever want to know like what the next week they have going at Aldi go online and it'll show you the the follow like the next week it'll show you what their specials are going to be um oh the candles y'all the candles are amazing at Aldi I mean you cannot beat four dollars like 4.99 or half off if you get them when they're half off oh thank y'all y'all are so sweet Mmm, Virginia. That's one place. I've been to Virginia, but I just drove through it. Oh, let me see. Was there something else? The uh, oh, the did I tell y'all the coffee mugs? The two coffee mugs were eleven ninety nine. They have those same coffee mugs, a two pack on Amazon for forty. So the fact that you get them for eleven ninety nine, that is amazing. And fella, I don't know if. Did I show the bone on there? Yeah, y'all saw fella eat that bone. He ate that bone all in one day. Like, it said easily uh, digestible. He ate the entire bone in one day. So, I definitely got to get him some more of that bone. He loved it, y'all. What else? Oh, the two-tier plant stand was 19 And those bathrobes were 15 You can't beat a man's bathrobe for 15 bucks. I think that the boys are going to be so handsome in the, that brown, that brown, um, uh, robe. So handsome. And y'all, they sell out quick. If you see something on the uh, weekly ad for, uh, Aldi's, you better go. And so, just so you know, they do a new item of the week or the new, you know, weekly thing every Wednesday. I mean, there. I hear that there's people that's outside the door right when they open on Wednesdays because that's when the new item of the weeks, you know, are, are out. Yes, they do work together, and y'all, they love it. It helps me, especially if they're both working. Uh, Cash can take him to and from work, and I don't have to go. Yes, I got the bone from Aldi. I showed it in the hall. He was smelling around and sniffing it. It's uh, made in the USA. It was a uh, no hide bone. Um, I'm talking about even the cat went for the bone, y'all. Uh, Stella was trying to get it from Fella because it, I guess the smell. He tore that bone up in one day. Eight, I mean, literally, there's not nothing left of it. And it was a bit. I got him the big one. They had like small ones, and it was $4.99. But it was well worth it if he liked it like that. Like he loved it. Yeah, y'all, I used to shop at Aldi all the time, and sometimes I just switch up. I go to Lidl, I go to Kroger, and sometimes I just forget about, uh, like, their non-grocery items. Also, I kind of want to forget about it because if I went every week and spent that, like, I don't need to do that. Oh, yeah, how much did I spend? I knew it was, like, two-something. I don't know. I already put that up. I spent, like, two-something. No, he didn't eat the plastic, y'all. I cut the plastic off that bone. I cut the plastic off the bone once I stopped filming when I got the scissors and cut it off. Hey, Georgia. Another Georgia Peach is on here, y'all. Y'all, I want to go to the park. Kai don't ever want to go to the park with me, y'all. Sometimes she'll go, but I want to I wanna go to the park and I want to paint. You know, Dollar Tree, I got the canvases from Dollar Tree and the paint from Dollar Tree. I love just going, laying a blanket out, even though I can't paint. <laughs> like, just paint sip on something have some snacks like i want to do that y yes i'm still looking to buy a house but see the plan when we came here was to get came in through graduation um because he needs to graduate first but i didn't want to buy a home in this because i don't know that i want to stay in this area and pr houses in this area where we live are very expensive and it's not the time to buy right now so i want my goal was to get him through his senior year and then we can figure out where we're gonna go what we're gonna do you know I just didn't want to uproot him during his senior year and I wanted to stay in the same school zone and when I was looking for houses or apartments when we had to leave the last town home when we left it um, I was looking for a house then but the housing market you know the housing market it is it, no it's awful right now and so many people are moving to Atlanta so many people atlanta the traffic is horrible y'all i definitely don't want to live right here i don't want to buy a house in where we're at right now it's too much traffic i want to kind of be out still in the area where still near atlanta but just out a little bit 
It's too much traffic, y'all. Yes, Stella tried to eat the bone, y'all, and Fella, <laughs> Fella would, like, drop it near her. And then as soon as she went for it, he would jump and grab it. It was so funny. Them two out of the cats and dogs, like, Stella and Fella, they play the most. They literally play, like, friends. Y'all, these glasses are so cute look at them they're so cute yeah I was sitting I was sitting there I finished up the haul and I was like I saw the bag of the snack mix stuff and I was like I just need to get it done I said let me just go live because I was gonna make a video but see how short that was that wasn't even long enough to make a whole video but this is so good so if y'all ever looking for a snack for everybody to snack on at your house when you have company running through or you have teenagers over for the night movie night do this do this Dollar Tree has some of the best stuff when you have company. Like you get the big popcorn bowl, make a whole movie night. It's so much fun. Some dip. Y'all, I need some dinner ideas. I it's so isn't it so hard coming up with dinner ideas every day? And you would think it would be easy because we have to figure it out every single day. It's that dreaded question. I mean, my kids ask from the moment they wake up, what's for dinner tonight? That used to be Cash's favorite thing. Every morning, he'd wake up before he went to school. He'd be like, Mom, what you cooking for dinner? Yes, I, I am. Y'all, what should I make for Sunday dinner? Sunday dinner tomorrow. I want to do, like, healthy, but then also it's Sunday dinner, so it doesn't have to be, like, all the way healthy, but I like to incorporate some regular meals as well. Uh, grilled chicken. Yeah, I love grilled chicken, y'all. I eat so much grilled chicken. I'm trying to think, what can we make for Sunday dinner tomorrow? I'm in the mood for like collard greens, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes. Like I'm in the mood for that, but I do have some, let's see, let's see, let's see. Y'all come along with me. We have some, I gotta go shopping. So it doesn't look like a good, but we have steaks. We have these steaks that I got from Costco. So we can make steaks for Sunday dinner. Um, or, or, we have salmon. We have beef. Well, Cash can't have salmon. So we can have we have steaks or we have the chicken tenderloin. I still have these I need to eat too. I had got these from Costco a while back. These are the cranberry jalapeno um, chicken meatballs. These were good. I still have one like one packet left. I think steak tomorrow. So steak. I think steak. Um, oh, I need to leave this out. Y'all, if you haven't tried, there's always police. That's what I'm saying. I, I want to live somewhere where I don't hear that every single day. I just want to be out, out of the city. Um, if y'all haven't tried True Fruit, definitely get some. And the reason y'all hear that so loud is because my balcony door is open. Steak, mashed potatoes, and okay, steak and asparagus for sure. I might make some mashed potatoes because Cash likes mashed potatoes. But I kind of how about sweet potato? How about I do because I'm trying to stay like a healthy, healthier carb. And when I make mashed potatoes, every time I make mashed potatoes, it's got to have cream cheese, sour cream, butter, you know, all the above. So why don't I do? Why don't I do like a baked sweet potato, or either. Yeah, I'm going to do a baked sweet potato like how they do at Longhorns um, with some cinnamon and, um, oh, that would be so good. Oh, I could do the cauliflower mashed potatoes. You're right. I could. I've made them before on my channel. They're so good. So, I could either do cauli mash with steak and asparagus or sweet potato. So, something. We're either going to do sweet potato or Do I have cauliflower? Do I have, like, frozen cauliflower? No. Um... But I, but I could do the sweet potatoes, but I could go to the grocery store. Yeah, I think I'm going to do sweet potato, a baked, a whole baked sweet potato with some cinnamon on it. And I don't even have to add anything to my sweet potato, y'all, because I, it's sweet enough for me. Like, sometimes I add a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of um, cinnamon, and it's so good. And I'll do, like, a herb steak with um, some asparagus. You can do roasted. I could do roasted <gasps> Oh, you know what? There was another dish that I showed them yesterday. I think it was on a TikTok. It was like sauteed cabbage 
with sauteed salt like chicken like organic sausages cabbage and they put like this creamy sauce on it almost like the cabbage was in place of pasta so it was like oh i'm gonna have to show y'all so i'm either gonna do that or steak i'll probably do steak steak sounds so good so i might do steaks tomorrow i bought a seven wick where's a seven wick honey cinnamon yeah cornbread uh sounds yeah it's so good y'all oh okay so i'm gonna do the steak instead of the cabbage but i'm gonna make that cabbage dish dish one day this week i'm gonna make i'm gonna just pick up when i go grocery shopping um or skip the potatoes hold on what did that say homemade y'all i love hibachi oh if y'all don't know uh so a while back i had hauled a the black stone that i got from walmart i ended up taking that back because you have to keep it on your countertop and i already have an air fryer toaster not like I have no counter space for that. So I, I didn't even get to use it once. I wanted to so bad. If I had a house, I could have the black stone outside, like the stand up black stone. That's what I initially wanted. But you can't have that here on your balcony here. So I ended up taking that back. But uh, that would be nice to have hibachi. We love like fried rice, chicken fried rice, shrimp fried rice. We love it. And I love getting the that shrimp from um, Costco. The uh, frozen shrimp, it's so good. Oh, yeah, the air fryer. Do y'all see my air fryer? Like, can you see? I can't even see. Can you guys see my air fryer on there? It's it's a dual-sided one, so it's big. It takes up so much space. Hey, from Texas. So, yeah, I think Sunday dinner is going to be steak. I'm going to cook the steak in an iron skillet. So, I'm going to cook steak, sweet potato, with asparagus that's gonna be sunday dinner yeah i would there's not enough room in an apartment i would love a house with a huge kitchen with a backyard especially a fenced in backyard for fellow to run around oh he would love it he would love it y'all and i'm so excited so when we go on vacation for spring break we're bringing fellow with us and i'm so excited he's gonna get just get to experience the beach and everything do i have a spiral uh, the thing for the veggies, a spiraler for the veggies? No. Oh, this food talk. I know, right? Like, we're all hearts like, let's get cooking. Actually, well, if I'm having steak, I should probably pull those out. So, we have four steaks. I have both of these. This is why I love this. I'm going to put these. I have some ground beef, ground turkey. I'm going to put these in the refrigerator. I need to go grocery shopping. So, look, y'all. So, I just, like, how I keep track of how often I shop is my hauls. So, I just looked at the last Costco and Lidl haul when I had a big shopping trip seven days ago. So, the amount I spent going to Costco and Lidl that time and then me needing to go seven more, seven days later, I'm blown away. We have went through that food. You know, like really went through the food. Like we need to go shopping so bad. I really need to keep track and food prices is going up. Like I'm trying to gauge how much I'm actually spending. I know some of the Costco things were like paper towels, toilet paper. I don't need those now. And laundry detergent and things like that. That's how it gets expensive at Costco. Just when I have to buy those necessity items. Um, oh, I already made the Philly cheese stuff stuffed peppers i made them i just didn't film it because i wanted to try it myself first it was my first time making them so now that i did oh it was amazing it was amazing y'all so now that i did it i'll film it i always got to try it first and then see if it's good and then i can film it next oh prices on gas and food have skyrocketed even at costco I always fill up at costco and then you know when i go shopping it's crazy y'all let me, I want another one of these yogurt things, y'all. I'm supposed to be eating this dump mix. But let me not eat too much, y'all. But I have some of the yogurt. And I'm going to see if this stays fresh. I will let you guys know if this keeps it fresh. That's what we're going to see. So I wanted some of these yogurt. Um, cranberries? Oh, man. Mm-hmm. I'm probably going to go to Aldi because the last time I went shopping, I went to Lidl. 
in Costco and I've been to Kroger. I haven't shopped groceries at um, Aldi in a while. But also, I kind of want to go to Kroger, y'all. I love Kroger. Because once I go shopping at Kroger, I can save on gas. Oh, hey. Where do y'all grocery shop? I also like Walmart. Walmart has good prices. Like, where do y'all, where do you, the reason I like Kroger, they have Kroger Plus. Um, they have my sushi. They have the clearance flowers that I always love getting. And then, yes, I have noticed the food shortages. Yes. Grocery stores are empty in lots of areas and you can't always get the same products that you're used to getting. I feel like a lot of companies, like say cream cheese. Cream cheese, you can usually find like 10 different flavors. Now you can find like two. So I feel like companies that used to have a variety of like flavors, they're cutting it down to probably their most sold items. And I just see a lot of shortages like that. So Walmart, Walmart, a lot of people say Walmart. I do shop at Walmart, Kroger, Aldi, and Walmart. That sounds like me. Kroger, Aldi, Lidl, and um, Walmart. Kroger is my favorite because not only do you have the Kroger Plus and you get um, like clearance on those items, when you spend a certain amount, you get like 10 cents off a gallon of gas. So that works perfect. You're saving on gas and you're saving on your groceries. Hey y'all. Jewel. I've never heard of Jewel and Fairplay. Where do you live? Jewel and Fairplay. I love all the different food lion. So I've seen a food lion, but I haven't seen a food lion in a while. Is that since like South Carolina? Mmm. Miami. Yeah, Costco. The only I love Costco, y'all. But I have a limited amount of space and I am going to get me a deep freezer. But the question is, is the deep freezer going to fit over there? Look at the cats eating. Oh, another update about the cats. So somebody had asked me the last time about the um, cat bowls. So I had got a water fountain for the water. It did not work out. It worked out for a while, but the motor and around it gets really dirty and gets like, um, I, don't even, I won't say mold. I don't know what it gets filmy so i just switched it back to just a regular water bowl i didn't like how it worked that meyer meyers i've always wanted to shop there y'all but they're not in georgia state bros also let's see i like trader joe's y'all that's another place i wanted to go trader joe's is amazing because trader joe's is kind of like your healthy like whole foods or sprouts but the price is reasonable a lot of people get the misconception that trader joe's is expensive it's really not if you've ever gone in there it reminds me of aldi prices trader joe's is not expensive trader yeah trader joe's is good the only questionable thing about just calling me i think it went He was FaceTiming me, so I got, I'm Kaya's calling him on her phone. Yeah, but if um, a lot of people have the misconception that Trader Joe's is expensive, Trader Joe's is a small grocery store, um, and it's more, it's like an island vibe. It's very different. The only thing about Trader Joe's is everybody will tell you the produce, let's see, the produce and like the breads go bad really fast. Like you have to eat it quick, and I don't know why. But it goes bad really quick. Eat it the di eat it like the first two days. So I only go to Trader Joe's if I'm like gonna cook a certain dish for that day or things like that. You found out real quick like certain things go bad really quick. And yes, Whole Foods. Like I go to Whole Foods for like shots, like after a Pilates workout, like the little um, immunity shots, or like to eat at their buffet type thing because it's all fresh. So I eat there, but they are way too, to go grocery shopping. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I've went a couple times and it's just the amount that you get for that. No. Dave's Killer Bread. So good, y'all. 
have avocado toast with it, so good. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have a Sprouts and I love it. They're still kind of pricey too. It's not as, so I would say Whole Foods, Sprouts, and then like what's under Sprouts? Because Trader Joe's isn't even under uh, Sprouts. Like Trader Joe's is literally level to Aldi. Like people think it's so expensive, but it's not y'all. Go in there, I'm telling you. They have floral too, they have flowers, they have some drinks, wines, everything. I love getting their cheese, their bread, and like their salmon, and just certain, the meats are good. Just really cool. I like the environment. It's very small though, it's always busy. It's a very small grocery store. Oh, I took this out. I'm trying to defrost this. This is that salmon that I got from Lidl. The other salmon I've already ate, it was so good. This is pepper and garlic. Haven't had this one yet, but I'm gonna defrost this. Y'all, this salmon that I eat all the time on with cream cheese and cucumbers is so good. Yeah, Trader Joe's, really good. And yes, I've, I've shopped at the Fresh Market too. Fresh Market, Sprouts. And yes, the uh, spices from Trader Joe's are really good. And if you're looking for cheap spices, uh, Lidl. Lidl and Aldi have cheap spices. And Lidl has the ones in the glass containers for like 79 cents, y'all. You can't even get that at Dollar Tree. Like it's 79 cents at Lidl for like parsley, things like that. So good. Oh, thank you. Thank y'all. Y'all are so sweet. Now, we talked about Sunday dinner, y'all. What are we eating tonight? Tonight is Saturday. Usually, Saturdays are my non-cooking. Oh, I already told you. It's sushi. I'm going to get sushi from Kroger. That's what I'm going to do. What y'all eating tonight? Y'all going out? I wish we could. I guess I could go to the pool area and grill. But you can't grill on your balcony. Oh, I would love to grill out. That's what the weather looks like outside right now, like grilling weather. Oh, thank you. Yes, y'all. Okay, so if you buy smoked salmon, buy these like in the plank. They're not like slimy. They're flaky. A lot of people, if you've ever had like sushi with like the salmon on the top, it's like slimy. And if you're, I don't like that. I like the flaky kind that looks like it's been, it literally looks like it's been cooked, but it's just um, smoked. So it's really good. Shredded chicken top. Ooh, girl, that sounds so good. Pizza. Yeah, usually, like I say, Friday, Saturday, I don't cook. And some, some Sundays I don't cook. But um, go to natural groceries. Girl with electric grill on your balcony. Can I, I don't know. I'll have to check. They do have grills, but they're by the pool. Um, so I could definitely grill out there if need be. Oh, girl, I was just talking about a Mexican restaurant. I love, okay, so on low carb and just like low cal, I do, um, like if I go to a Mexican restaurant, I do the fajitas, but I just don't make the fajita. Like I just do, I eat the steak and the chicken and the peppers. So good. You know where it comes out sizzling? I'll eat the whole thing of meat. It's so good. It's so good. And you can get the triple. You can get shrimp, steak, and chicken. Or you can just like pick one or the other. It's so good. And we have a Mexican restaurant right near us. And it's the best. They're always like hot. Like it's always full. Chipotle. I love Chipotle, y'all. Love Chipotle. Love them. Sometimes I splurge and get the burrito. Most days I get the bowl. But um, have you tried sushi from... No, I haven't. So I've heard about Publix. I'm so hooked on Kroger. So I love Publix. Like I love Publix. We used to go to Publix to get subs. I love grocery shopping at Publix. No, they are pricey too. So when we were saying the tier, so it'd be Whole Foods, um, well, Whole Foods, Sprouts, and then Publix. Because Publix is kind of expensive unless you do the buy one and get one. Um, but yes, I have not actually tried sushi from Publix. That's one, one place I didn't try it. Chicken fillies. Ooh, y'all love chicken fillies. Pizza. Pizza is always good. The top, the top is, okay, so this is American Eagle. And it's like the back, I don't know if you can see, but it's like tied. And it's, but I got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It was on clearance. I, I like, I love, and this, you can see through the arm part, but this part you can't see through. 
I'm getting, y'all, I'm getting hungry. We're always talking about food. I love talking about food. Oh, Hattie B's hot chicken. Yes. So good. Yes. Y'all, if you like fried chicken, like any type of chicken, like Georgia has so many restaurants with like fried chicken sandwiches. I'm not talking about Popeye's and stuff like that. I'm talking about like small family owned businesses that have chicken sandwiches or chicken with honey or chicken and waffles. Oh, it's so good. But I can't eat the waffles right now. I can't eat any of that right now. What was that? Korean fried chicken. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, it's on Wednesdays. Um, Kroger has five dollar. Kroger has five dollar sushi too. But the only thing is they never have. They never have um my sushi that I want for the five dollars. It's usually the one for five dollars is usually like the one a go to like a California roll or something like that or the imitation you know imitation crab or something but I like the um, tempura shrimp roll and I like the grilled salmon the grilled salmon roll to die for like they're the only place that I've ever seen do a grilled salmon not like smoked salmon not the slimy salmon like it's grilled and inside the roll with like cucumber carrots it's so good and the calories are low. Y'all, to be honest, I'm not on a certain diet. I just did a healthy lifestyle change. Um, like I just look at car, I look at carbs. So I watch carbs, I watch my calorie intake. There's not a certain number. I just kind of go with the flow. You know, I try to eat protein and veggies. That's like my main goal, protein and veggies. Um, no certain diet, just focused on those. Oh, I love y'all. Uh, this is so much fun. We should do like live every Saturday, you know? But next time we should do dinner. Like I said, sushi. Sushi and a drink. Sushi, sushi and drinks. Or like a taco Tuesday night. Uh, tacos and margaritas. Like we could do that one night, y'all. Am I dating now? Yes, y'all, I'm dating. Just dating. I do not have a boyfriend. I am just dating, just dating y'all. That's it, dating. So the options are open. No boyfriend, nobody I've just settled down with, just dating. That's it. And I randomly date, you know, like I've just, just dating. I don't wanna, yeah, just dating is fun. Like, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Nothing serious. Nothing serious right now. Enjoy your weekend too. Uh, I hope y'all are having a good weekend. I hope y'all have good weather. I saw some people say it's raining. It's snowing. It's so crazy how it's weather different everywhere. Best way to go, just date. Yes, y'all. Just date. Date for a while. Until, it takes a long time to get to know people. And um, it takes a long time. You need it like when dating somebody, you need to at least have an argument so you can see how they handle it. You need to, you know, you just need to go through all the motions before even being in a relationship. There's just so many. And dating today is not like dating 10 years ago. It's totally different today. Men are totally different. I'm a, like, I'm about to be 39 and just the dating world is so different. And I have like an old soul and I'm a, I'm honestly a relationship type woman. I'm a one, you know, a relationship type woman, but it's hard with men these days. Mm -mm. Y'all, it is hard. <laughs> no. Mm. Yeah. Y'all dating is hard. Or maybe I'm just picky. Maybe I'm picky. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, in the grand scheme of life, I'm still young, but Lord, y'all, I didn't raise, you know, kids and I would love a partner though. You know, a partner that we're on the same level. We can add to each other's life and it's just hard to find that. It's hard to find consistent, consistent men, you know, reliable men. Like it's, it's just really hard. 
Yeah, y'all, I, I love my alone time. I've done been single so long, my alone time feels amazing. And, and you learn once you get out there and you start dating, you even appreciate your singleness even more. Like, oh, I just can't wait to go home, put on, I want, put on whatever I want, relax, do what I want to do. Look as ugly as I want in my own home. <laughs> Don't have to shave my legs, you know, just, just be normal, just be regular, just be myself. Oh, thank y'all. You know? <laughs> she said amen. <laughs> Let me just be as ugly as I want to be in my own home and not have to, you know... <laughs> I don't see my singleness changing anytime soon. I will date, you know, to go out, you know, have some adult time. Other than that, y'all, I am, I am just fine. <laughs> I have to get my, <laughs> I have to get my daughter through high school. So I'm no rush, no rush. Oh, thank y'all. Single is the best. <laughs> You do have to be picky, y'all, because people will use you and for everything that they can get. So just be picky and then just enjoy, like you said, just enjoy life. Enjoy it. Just have fun with your, take yourself on dates like I do. Buy myself flowers. Buy yourself flowers. Buy yourself sushi. Enjoy the time alone. Enjoy your own company. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Mm-hmm. You don't have to hear excuses. You don't have to hear anything. It did. They don't like once you once you are single long enough, y'all. You just get this peace about you, and when you start adding other people into that, it starts taking away your peace. Like when you meet the right person, they're not going to take away your peace. They're going to add to it. You're going to you know enjoy it. Um, so if you're out there dating and you're meeting people that you seem that seem to be taking your peace away, let it go. Let it go. Yes, make your own rules. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, dating's hard, y'all. It's hard. You got to go through some rough ones to get to the right one. And I still ain't met the right one. I'm waiting. Yes, protect your peace at all costs, y'all. Sometimes it takes us a long time, especially if you've been through like a horrible breakup or a heartbreak or just you know it takes us a while to get at peace so once we form that peace and then we're like oh, okay now i'm cool now i'm you know okay now let me try dating and then you go out there and date and you start feeling that peace being taken away again just stop just just stop <laughs> yes i'm here for it like okay all I've ever wanted in life was to be a wife. Like, I felt like that that's what I wanted. But at the same time, y'all, like, I'm okay. I'm okay being a single mom. I'm okay doing this by myself. I'm just enjoying it and going with it. Does it get lonely? Does it get hard? Yes. But is it just not, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I have a Bath and Body Works. Beth Girl, every night. Self-care, not, not just self-care Sunday, y'all. Self-care every night. <laughs> that is the perfect way looking at it. Yes, preserve your peace, y'all. Preserve it. The moment you start seeing your peace being taken away, go back. Do whatever it was to get back there. Even if it's taking yourself on a date, buying yourself flowers, don't ever look for that in somebody else to give you that happiness. You need to be completely happy on your own and then when somebody else comes in your life, they can just add to it, not take away from it. Oh, y'all, I love Pilates. If, if, okay, the gym life can be very intimidating, especially if you go to like LA Fitness or like a big gym. So Pilates, I love because it's small classes, y'all. It's small classes. I would say eight people in a class. And a lot of the workouts, you're on this, it's, it's, you're on this machine called a reformer and you're kind of like laying down, you have your feet in the feet in straps and like, it's absolutely amazing. It's like the best workout that I've ever experienced. Now on top of doing Pilates, I go to the gym here 
at the apartments because it's, it's quiet. It's not a lot of people. Um, so that's not intimidating. I kind of just do my own thing. But if you are not a big workout person, go find a Pilates center near you and go to like a free intro class. It will change your mind on working out because it's a, it's like a slower pace depending on what you sign up for. And I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like it's better. If you're not a gym person with a lot of people, you will really enjoy this. You will really enjoy Pilates. I, it changed my whole mind of working out. Bobs and rechargeable batteries are a good send. Shoe bobs? Hold on, I'm lost. What, what is that, what, what? Work online, just caught the live. Hey, you're at work on a Saturday. What do I, what did that say? Oh yeah, yes. Oh, y'all are at work having a lunch break. Hey, y'all. Hey, how many times a week do I do Pilates? So I have an unlimited plan. I can go whenever, but most weeks I do three days a week. At first, when I first started out, I just did two. Um, well, actually I had ordered a package of twice a week. And then once I noticed it was only $20 more to do unlimited. So I went ahead after two months of it, I said, you know, I just want to do unlimited. So now I can go to three different locations and I can go as many classes I want for $20 more. So I do that, but I usually go about twice, uh, sorry, three times a week and I switch it up. I do like regular Pilates and then they have certain classes like they have like a cardio class, which, oh my goodness, y'all, the cardio class was a whole different ball game. I'm talking to you're jumping on the reformer, like you're laying down on this reformer and say so you're laying down your feet here and this is a springboard. And you're like jumping off the springboard. I'm talking about solid, solid, long time. My thighs, I was shaking when I went out of there. So I do like the cardio, I do the glutes workout because I'm, I wanna work on my glutes and I wanna work on toning up. And a lot of Pilates is your abs. You gotta use your core for a lot. So you do a lot of core exercises and Pilates is a lot of stretching, like a lot of stretching. So you get lean, you get very lean and um, like you tone up your muscles. So in the gym, so the reason I do Pilates is to like stretch, lengthen, cardio. And then when I go to the gym, I work on squats and lunges to work on my thighs and glutes because you know, just got to work on it. Just got to tighten and firm those up. As you get older, things start going lower. <laughs> Even my arms, like I'm not able, like I need to tone this up more. I, I want muscly arms and I'm still like, I still call them my mom arms. Like I need to tone those up and I need to tone, I admit it, I need to tone my arms up, um, my thighs, my glutes. Yeah, so, so, okay, so when I started looking for workouts, I was looking at CrossFit, but I don't want to be too, I don't want to be too muscular, but I do want to be, like, toned. So I looked at CrossFit, it's like, I kind of want to do CrossFit and Pilates at the same time, so I'm not too toned, but I'll still, I don't know. So I just go to the gym right now, the regular gym, and then uh, Pilates. Oh, I love y'all. But y'all stay tuned. That Dollar Tree haul is posting today if you're just jumping in. At least Bob won't hurt you. What? Who's Bob? <laughs> Who is Bob, y'all? Who's Bob? Mm. So I'm the same way as you. When I first started to work out, I was like, there's no way I got time to work out. I just randomly saw this ad where they had a free intro for the Pilates. If you ever go to one, it's a 50. Okay, so your Pilates classes usually are 50 minutes. So when you go to one, I promise you, y'all, if you're not a workout person, I'll tell Tiff who Bob. Okay, y'all tell me who Bob is. Oh! <laughs> Battery operated boyfriend. <laughs> Okay, 
y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. No, 50. 50 minutes, not 15. <laughs> y'all are all laughing. <laughs> Everybody knew who Bob was but me. Am I the only one who didn't know who Bob was? <laughs> I can't with y'all. I cannot with y'all. This girl. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm blushing. Can y'all tell? <laughs> or is it this? <laughs> oh my goodness! <sighs> I didn't know who Bob was either, y'all. Now I know who Bob is. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Oh, that was hilarious. Y'all are hilarious. I love y'all too. So yes, Paliza, 50 minutes. So basically an hour. 10 minute shot of an hour. That is hilarious, y'all. But yeah, it's good. Like it is, um, I'm telling you, if you're not a workout person, try Pilates. You'll learn, like it's a different vibe. It's a whole different thing than uh, working out at the gym. The pink in your face now. I know, right? Y'all saw me blushing, right? Girl, I suffer from, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Be careful, girl, because they think that you're so paid. Who, what now? Oh, okay. I will. I'm gonna have to try public sushi, y'all. But do they have that salmon? Do they have like the grilled salmon? I should no. Okay, so I go, the Pilates class that I go to, I've been going to there for about two months, and um, yeah. Okay, so when you go into Pilates and you, if you have like, okay, look, Pilates is for all ages. I'm talking. We have eighty year olds, young old it's a lot of women a lot of women you'll randomly see a man in there randomly depending on what you go for if you go to a regular pilates class it's all ages again 80 60 30 20 like you get all the ages again a lot of the workouts is on your back you're laying on the machine youtube pilates because i didn't even know much about it but youtube pilates um it's crazy it, just go to a free intro y'all because it's literally life-changing and my mom who has like lyme disease she has like a lot of issues i told her about it because you can do and like my i could see my grandmother doing it because it's you're laying down you have these feet in straps you do a lot of stretches you do a lot of low impact working out now you can get other classes that's high intense or you can stay with like the low intense workouts so if you have any issues, you just go in and tell them like, I have lower back issues or I've had surgery or I have spine issues or a leg injury or a knee injury. You just tell them and they'll work with you and it's really good. But what I was saying was, um, I want to film it one day. So I got to ask one of the instructors if they'll allow me to just film myself, but I'll also have on the audio so you can hear what the instructor is telling me to do. So I think that would be a good video, but I they, I know they have like social media, so I don't think they would be opposed to it, but you never know these days who would allow you to film what. Yeah, y'all, I barely go live. I need to go live more with you guys. We've had fun today. I, the initial thing we were doing was a snack mix. That was so quick, y'all. Hey, y'all, anybody just join in? So if you're just joining, we made this Dollar Tree dump snack mix and it was so good. I'm just going to have it and grab it. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you guys know how well this keeps like my popcorn okay and doesn't get stale. Because, you know, usually when you open popcorn, it'll get stale. But so I'll let you guys know how well this works. Okay. And then I got it. We, we got to decide dinner tonight is sushi. Tomorrow I'm going to do a Sunday dinner, probably steak. Y'all want me to film that? Do you want me to film my Sunday dinner? A steak, sweet potato, and asparagus? Because 90% of it is going to be cooked in the air fryer. Uh, a Dollar Tree haul is coming up today. As soon as we get off this live, it'll be posted. 
Okay, so Sunday dinner. Sunday dinner, y'all want me to film it? So it's gonna be my steak. I'm probably, the only thing I'm not gonna cook air fryer, but what you can, you can cook a steak in air fryer from frozen, um, but I'll probably cook it on the iron skillet. Like I love cooking a steak on an iron, like, or a pan, you know. And then I'm gonna roast my sweet potato and then cook the asparagus and the air fryer. So yes, for Sunday dinner, I'll definitely cook that. Tonight, I'm probably just gonna have sushi from Kroger. Um, I think Kaya's having a friend come over. The boys don't get off of work until around 6. So we'll probably have sushi. Cash might have his little girlfriend come over. Y'all, Cash has a girlfriend. We love her. She actually might go on our beach trip with us. We love her, though. She's so sweet. I have to do, like, if my kids would open up. So Cayman's going to do that workout video with me. I want to film, like, his everyday. Like, he meal preps for school lunches. Cayman. He meal preps for school lunches. He works out every single day. He's strict with it. I want to show y'all his. I can show y'all his before and afters and what this child has done for himself. So that's a video coming. He already said he would do it for me. So that's a video coming. And then it would be so cool to have like just a Q&A with me and all my kids. But I got to talk them into that, y'all. A lot of them don't want to be on camera, but then they don't mind sometimes. I told Kaya, she definitely has camera presence, so she definitely needs to get a YouTube channel. Like, she she could kill it, especially with the beauty. She loves lashes, makeup, hair. She could do that. Yes, Cayman, y'all, Cayman, leaps and bounds. That boy went from playing the game every day and eating chocolate and cookies to working out being completely motivated he works out every single day he eats and meal preps his food for school have you ever seen a kid in school meal prep their food and take it to school and eat like salmon and veggies um it's just amazing to me what's that say oh i love my air fryer too and y'all if you haven't yet these These are amazing. I know I talk about them all the time. They're just frozen tenderloins. I'm going to show y'all. A frozen tenderloin. Literally frozen. Put this in your air fryer. About 10 to 13 minutes. Season it. Go ahead and season it frozen and everything. It'll soak into it once it starts cooking. Spray it with some avocado oil. Liter you literally, when you cut it, you see the juices come out of it. These are amazing from Costco. I don't even buy the chicken like fresh in the packets. I, this is what we use because we use it so much. I cook a lot of these for um, chicken salad because it can, actually I need to cook some. Actually, let's cook some. So I'm going to put some in the air fryer to make some chicken salad because so I'll food prep for them when Cayman gets home from work and Cash gets home from work. So I'm just going to put some of these in here to cook some uh, chicken salad. Or you can meal prep, just make a bunch, lemon pepper. Oh, oh my goodness, let me share this. So Dollar Tree, where's it at? I don't see it, oh right here. Dollar Tree has this new lemon pepper marinade, amazing. Cook them, sprinkle the Dollar Tree lemon pepper. Where's it at, where's it at? it sprinkle the lemon pepper okay cook it once you pull it out drizzle this on it with some asparagus best yet y'all these two and both from dollar tree with these and make you a dish i did a video on that of uh, like what i eat in a day amazing so i'm gonna put this in there to make some chicken salad real quick though and oh i thought i'll put this in the fridge Okay, so y'all are going to see in my toaster, I'm mean, not my toaster, my air fryer. So we use, we use this side for seafood and this side for chicken and anything else because Cash can't eat seafood. So that's why I got the dual one. So this is seafood, this is chicken. I just take this little thing out. And then we're just going to add some chicken. I'm going to go ahead and cook it for some chicken salad. So literally frozen. This ended up being a little cook with me. I'm going to make some of this so when the boys get home from work, 
that they have some chicken salad to eat. They love making chicken salad sandwiches on the Dave's Killer Bread or just eating it with crackers, the Monet crackers. So good. And this is from Costco. Now, I'm sure other grocery stores have this, but this is just a huge bag. So I'm gonna cook two, four. And this is this is why we go through it so quickly, y'all. Look, I'm already gonna need new chicken. This is why I'm at this is why I'm at grocery stores every day. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all. Like this is still gonna cook. Like I have them overlapping, but it's okay because it's just for chicken salad. And for chicken salad, I just use avocado oil salt and pepper for chicken salad you want basic chicken don't get too crazy with the seasoning because you're gonna make it taste weird so you're either gonna have it tasting like I don't know just do salt and pepper for chicken salad start with salt and pepper and avocado oil so just spray this on there you'll see it just spray it on there really good so it just the seasoning adheres to it this live is everywhere and we're gonna add some salt and pepper Oh, and you can add some parsley. Y'all, I love parsley. Literally love parsley. So let me get some of that. I almost used all this. Let me just show you what it looks like so far. See it? Just salt, pepper. Very, and this is empty. Then we're gonna use some parsley. Parsley makes it look, oh, and, and red pepper flakes. Parsley and red pepper flakes. Also, if you're at TJ Maxx or Marshall's, their food section, get some spices. They're usually, this is only $2.99 for this huge thing. And this gives it color. It looks like you spent a lot of time seasoning it. <laughs> but you really didn't. Look, but you really didn't. A little bit of red pepper flakes. And we're going to get that started for chicken salad. Good old chicken salad. Hey from Michigan. Hey there. Oh, thank y'all all so much. We're going to turn this on. Air fry 390 for 20 minutes. And we're gonna get started. We're gonna have chicken salad ready. Yes, everybody hit the like button for me. That always helps my channel out. On every video that you uh, watch of mine, if you hit the like button, that definitely helps me out. Leave me a comment. In the new video that I have coming up that I'm uploading today, I have a huge Dollar Tree haul with some amazing finds. So definitely stay tuned for that. Also, if you are on here, check me out on Instagram, ThriftyTiffany35. Um, I'm always posting stuff, like stuff that I cook, dishes. Y'all check me out everywhere. Thank you for liking. Y'all, thank you. Oh, I put my salt and pepper. But these, if you only go to Costco for these, go for it. This and the salmon, so good. What ingredients do you put in your chicken salad? Okay. So my kids are basic. If it was me, I would add a lot of different things. Like I would even add cranberries to my chicken salad, celery, like all of the beautiful things to make it like grapes and walnuts and all of that. But my kids won't eat that y'all. They're basic. So I just do the chicken. So I'm going to cook that with again, salt, pepper, parsley, red pepper flakes, and avocado oil, and then mayo, onions, and dill relish. They're dill relish. So, we have, we only have one onion left. One onion and dill relish and, uh, right here. Gotta have Duke's mayo. So Duke's mayo, chicken, dill relish, an onion and salt and pepper. They like it basic. Now, if it was me and I had like a girlfriend night, like girls coming over and it was a night, I would add cranberries, some celery, some walnuts, some grapes. I would make it just fancy and yummy, but they don't want that. <laughs> I've learned over the years, don't be fancy with kids. Teenagers, don't be fancy with them because you will be disappointed. You'll be so excited for everybody in the household to try it. Nobody likes it. Could you just make it normal, mom? Mom, can you just do normal? Why do you have to try new stuff every time? 
every time. I get so excited about a recipe and I introduce it to the kids and they're just like, I just like how you used to make it. Okay, mom. Oh, I mean, okay, kids. So just be basic. When you have teenagers, kids, be basic. Yes, teens, basic. Again, your basic, your mayo, your pickles. Like, they don't even want sweet relish or nothing. Just dill relish. I mean, I'm not a sweet relish person myself. I like sweet heat pickles, but I don't like uh, sweet relish. I like dill relish. This is my favorite relish of all time. Um, so, yeah, the fancier you get with teens, you're going to be disappointed. You're showing your craft off to them. You're so excited. You're like, I just came up with this new recipe. I want to see what y'all think. They will shoot you down and make you feel this big. Mom, that's disgusting. Mom, that's nasty. Why would you ever do that? And they will make you feel like nothing. Like you're the worst cook ever. I've never heard of Cane's Mayo. Cane's Mayo? Hey everyone, if you're just coming in, I have chicken, chicken in the air fryer over here cooking. Oh yeah, my kids will tell you, kid, this is the thing. Kids, teenagers, will tell you the honest to God truth. The honest to God truth, they will tell you. If they think it's nasty, it's nasty, you know? Mom, why did you try this fancy recipe? Why couldn't you just do the regular? I don't know, son. I don't know. And then I made some chicken salad, and they got so mad because I put cranberries. Um, I put cranberries and almonds. I put honey roasted almonds and cranberries in my chicken salad. They said, why in the world would you do this? I said, because it's good. They didn't want nothing to do with it. They just want it regular. Hellman's. So let me be honest. So I grew up with Kraft Mayo. I grew up with Kraft Mayo. But eventually somewhere along the line, oh, I love these clips from Dollar Tree, by the way amazing and i keep them in my drawer in the little container that i got from dollar tree like this one amazing use these i keep them in the same thing like i keep let me show you this hold on i'm making a mess i keep all my straws like extra straws sushi things like in this i got these from dollar tree but they fit perfectly in my drawer in this part in front of it so i just these are amazing literally life-changing but yes so i grew up on craft mayo grew up on it all my life craft mayo and country crock butter but somewhere along the line my mama switched to dukes i don't know where she switched i think my aunt from south carolina was using dukes and somewhere we switched to dukes but like all my life i'm talking about so 17 18 uh, well, I left the house at 17, but even when I, it's always been craft. All my life it was craft. But somewhere it switched to Dukes, and now that's all I can buy because cash won't let me buy nothing else. Sometimes I buy the little craft ones from Dollar Tree. Um, but I grew up on that. I grew up on craft and country crock. And now I realize country crock, a lot of people say that's just strictly like not even butter. So I don't buy that. I buy actual butter now. But uh, I grew up on it, you know. I grew up, y'all, I would eat butter out the tub. I would eat butter bread. Butter bread growing up. Butter bread. A piece of sunbeam bread with a whole slab of country crock on it. Tear it up. I'd tear it up. Who ate butter bread growing up? <laughs> I'd have butter bread and cinnamon and sugar on the top of the, uh, on top of the bread. Who ate cinnamon and sugar on top of their bread? Yep, butter bread. Literally, and not even toasted, y'all. Fresh sunbeam bread that you could put your handprints in, smothered with country crop. Tear it up. My mama. <laughs> I'm about to tell on myself. My mama used to catch me in the refrigerator, scooping out butter, just eating it. <laughs> Who used to scoop out butter and just eat butter? Butter bread used to be the best. Oh my gosh. I used to scoop out butter. Oh, let me let me ask y'all this. But now I buy regular butter, y'all. I don't buy a country crock no more. 
<laughs> I don't buy, like, I buy these now. These. They're just, um, you know, real butter. It's the actual, it says butter. You know, country cock doesn't say butter. But this actually says butter. It's real. I get salted, unsalted. Um, yeah, so I, I get real butter now. I don't eat butter bread no more. Unless I go to a restaurant and they have like, you know, if you go to Outback and stuff, they have like bread and butter. But it's really good. Mustard on bread. Never heard. We used to eat mustard and bread. Good old. Never. So, I've had like, what is it called? Pigs in a blanket with mustard. So good. I used to have that all the time. Now I buy the beef sausages and make those so good. But yeah, butter and bread is of course a thing because when you go to restaurants, you get rolls and butter or, you know, bread and butter. It's so good. But I grew up on the country crop. Yep. Another, another thing I used to grew up eating was like cheese toast. I would just take a piece of sunbeam bread and uh, like, a, you know, the Kraft single American cheese, the one in the plastic, and you would just put it on there and um, toast it. So good. Just mayo on bread. Y'all, let me tell y'all something about weird concoctions. So when I was growing up, my dad made sandwiches jelly and mayo sandwiches i didn't eat it but he ate it mayo and jelly sandwiches mayo and jelly he was like no don't knock it till you try it sir sir i'm not gonna try that i'm not gonna try mayonnaise and jelly i'm sorry sir i bet he still eats that and if my dad is watching dad no no sir we're not doing that today jelly and mayonnaise no in what land in what land are we in? Butter on crack. I've never had butter and crackers. Tomato. Oh, y'all are coming up. Oh, tomato sandwich. I'm here for it. Sunbeam bread. Get this. Okay, this is for my before my diet. Sunbeam. Okay, it's something with sunbeam bread because it's like so soft. Sunbeam bread, mayonnaise, salt and pepper with vine ripened tomatoes just y'all that's life life tomato sandwich you cannot be a southern tomato sandwich and like my mama used to say when you make her sandwiches do not leave your print fingerprints in her bread because some bean you can leave your fingerprints by smushing it down she would always say if you make my sandwich don't leave your fingerprints in my sandwich <laughs> tomato mayonnaise salt and pepper the air fryer is the Ninja Foodie, the Ninja brand. Before that, I had another brand which I literally absolutely love. I almost cried the day I had to get rid of that air fryer. It's the, oh, it was on Amazon. I worked with them. I was sponsored by them. It was an OM, OMRC. I don't even remember the name of it, but it was amazing. But yes, y'all, the tomatoes, like homegrown tomatoes, that you let ripen in your window seal and you slice those on some fresh sunbeam bread, mayo, salt, and pepper, your life will be forever changed. Your life will be forever changed on sunbeam bread. I don't, I don't buy that bread anymore yeah, unless I'm on like a, it's like a whim just because I just buy that healthier bread, but um, I might have to do it for the summer. I might have to make me a tomato sandwich in the summer. How are you? Yes, sunbeam bread is old school, y'all. That's the best. Cream cheese and pickles. I bet cream cheese and pickles is good because I like cream cheese and cucumbers. With salmon, the best. Hold on, what somebody say? Oh, fresh tomatoes, y'all. Okay, first of all, let's talk about how you can't get fresh tomatoes anymore like when you go to the grocery store and you get the okay the freshest tomatoes that you're gonna get is like the little grape tomatoes the big tomatoes are don't even taste the same hey from Rhode Island 
Oh, thank you. Uh, y'all are so sweet. Let me throw this away, y'all. It's all my trash from my... I need to put them actually in the pantry. From our little snack mix. So if y'all missed it, we made a dump, a Dollar Tree dump snack mix. So good. I'm going to keep this on the counter for everybody to snack on. Y'all, okay. Let me tell you about tomatoes. Let me check this. Oh, it's looking good. Look how good this looks already, y'all. Look how good this looks already. This is going to be for chicken salad. So we're at six minutes left. Um, so tomatoes. So I got the tomato plant from Dollar Tree. And I tried it when I was in my town home. And it grew the biggest green vines ever. No tomato came. But everybody was like, I should have put it in a bigger pot. But where I was at, I didn't have a bigger pot. So maybe I need to do that next time. But vine ripened tomatoes are literally the best. Because you cannot find those tomatoes in the grocery store anymore. Oh, girl, I grew up on bologna sandwiches. I grew up on fried bologna. Fried bologna, BLTs. I don't eat BLTs no more because I don't eat bacon or pork. But I grew up on BLTs on sunbeam bread. Bologna sandwiches on sunbeam bread. So good. You like put the, where the bologna puffs up in the middle and you got to put like an X in the middle. Fried green tomatoes, yes ma'am. All day. All day, y'all. Oh, thank you. So when I had the tomato plant, y'all, it was on my front porch where there was sun, water, all my herbs grew. I had parsley, I had thyme, I had all the plants from Dollar Tree that I bought, the seeds, grew. Everything grew. The tomatoes grew. The tomato just didn't form. Tried 647. No, I have not tried 640. Lettuce sandwiches are the... Lettuce! I've never had... I had a BLT. Eggs and bologna. Fried egg... A fried egg and bologna sandwich. Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you. This blouse, again, is American Eagle, and it's from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. You know how they get their stuff. Um, and I love the back, y'all. It has two ties, and it's like an open back. Yes, my herb gardens from Dollar Tree have always worked wonderful. Wonderful. Get plenty of basil, plenty of thyme, plenty of parsley. I just couldn't get the tomatoes to, like, form. They grew so tall, I thought for sure I was going to get a tomato. Thank y'all. I'm all, look, I'm still on this one little glass. Like, literally, I only have this much in here. Still working on it. This is so thin, though. I love this glass from Aldi, y'all. Love it. And I need to get my nails done so bad. But I was trying to let them rest. I've had them done for, like, seven months straight, and I just needed a rest. Try again. What do I need to try again? Oh, for the tomatoes. Yes, I am going to try again. Yes, Cayman's graduating. Okay, y'all, Cayman makes all A's. Literally, Cayman makes all A's. He is graduating in May. And that will be two down and one more to go, which is crazy. Thank you, y'all. Thank you about this top. I love finding clearance at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Yes, fry bologna, so good. I don't eat that stuff no more, y'all. I don't eat it. Hey, from San Diego. Oh, hold on. You said slice a tomato, put it in the dirt, and cover. Let me try that. Have you ever made your own hummus? I did, but it was a long time ago. I think it was like after I got out of culinary school, I made some. Your lashes look great. Oh, these are my regular lashes. So the ones that Kaya put on, y'all, the video where Kaya put on the lashes, I probably had them on for a couple days, and I just took them off. I'm not used to lashes. So I just took them off, but she wears her, hers last her a week. I got coconut oil and just took mine off because um, I wasn't used to them. Mm -hmm. Thank you for subscribing. Maybe I should go live more, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you so much. I'm very much into my well i wouldn't say it's a diet but it's a lifestyle change because i just eat different now than i used to 
but let me tell y'all I have craved when you do like watch what you're eating you do crave like things that you used to eat I have craved a McDonald's cheeseburger I know it's so bad a McDonald's cheeseburger with like a fry I'm gonna do it one day I'm gonna do it because I've been craving it but I've craved a freaking McDonald's cheeseburger and a fry I go there all the time for the kids especially Kaya she loves um, yes I will do more lives y'all I will de definitely do more lives low carb low carb is hard it really is that's why I didn't want to go strict keto or strict any diet I just look at my calories I look at my carbs um but yeah I just want the basic McDonald's cheeseburger just the cheeseburger with some french fries and maybe a Sprite you know I'll have to do that on a cheat day maybe I'll go live when I'm doing it <laughs> and y'all can cheat too y'all can do it too oh I didn't even know about super chat I had no idea how do you do that it is hard the only reason it's easier to stick to the diet right now to be completely honest if you're a mama and you have little kids or you have kids that are not on a diet it's very hard to stick to because you're having to cook them regular foods but right now cash and cayman are watching their calories and carbs so it's easier like they're asking for healthier options the only one that's not really on a diet but she stays thin anyway is kaya so it's actually easy it's actually easy because they're watching what they're eating so we're kind of on the same page but 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 if you're in a household where they're not it's hard especially if you have small kids and they want like mac and cheese and this, like it's really hard oh you want a giveaway y'all that reminds me i need to do a giveaway y'all i need to go do a giveaway real soon i'll do like a spring giveaway I have so many items I can put in a giveaway so I'll definitely have to do that the only issue is every time I have a giveaway like several people don't even comment um, like if they win they don't ever send me the email so I have several items still in my closet that were for a giveaway and nobody ever claimed them um, I don't have a certain calorie to be honest y'all I wake up and I just um, think healthier like I'll eat eggs and fruits and then for lunch I'll have like grilled chicken or grilled salmon actually let me check the chicken oh it's looking good y'all not done yet so that was a lot of chicken so it didn't work on 20 minutes okay let me pull it out some more. It's better to have that pulled out. Big Mac hamburger salad. I will have to try that. True. I need to do that because it was really good items that people didn't claim. I literally, they're in a mailer and everything. It was ready to mail off and nobody claimed it. Like usually most of the people claim, but some people didn't claim it. There's sometimes I've given away stuff on Instagram if somebody didn't claim it on YouTube so yeah like i understand the whole office thing when i worked for the doctor's office and we were constantly being catered by drug reps like they were always bringing in really good food y'all like barbecue and really good food so i know it's really hard when you do go to work only thing i can tell you to help you with that is food prepping prep your meals at home like Cayman does for school like of course school's not going to give you the best options like some days they have pizza and things like that like he meal preps his salmon and chicken Ireland you prefer YouTube yeah th that's thank you so they are already in the mailer so I'm going to do just a blind random giveaway. That's such a good idea. Like, I, they're literally, oh, no, no, no. They're literally in my closet. So I can just do a blind giveaway and you just get what you get, you know? Like, it's already a whole set. Y'all you, know how I do the sets. I do like a whole, almost like a color-coded set. That would be amazing. And I also want to do another one because I have that ombre 
bag that Dollar Tree was giving away. It's like a fruit bag. It was like pink and tan and I want to add some stuff. I have so many items to give away y'all. So I'm definitely going to be doing a giveaway here soon, like a spring giveaway. The, uh, the blind giveaway is such a good idea. Whoever said that, that was a great idea. Since it's already in a mailer, I can just wrap it up, put a name on it and you get it. That would be amazing. Hey from Florida, I'm going to be in Florida soon. I cannot wait to be in Florida for spring break. I love Florida so much. Literally, Florida is amazing. But again, it's so amazing. My hair is a mess, y'all. Massachusetts. Oklahoma. Y'all, we have somewhere everywhere. Y'all, I love doing the giveaways. Clearwater. I've wanted to go to Clearwater. That's actually not too, too far. Our usual, our usual go-to place is Panama. But Clearwater's not too much further than Panama. I think it's like two more hours. Oh, the chocolate chunks are amazing, y'all, from Dollar Tree. Southern California. I love me some California also. Hold up. Oh, it's going so fast. How do I do super chat, y'all? How do I do that? I don't, I don't do lives often enough to know any of this. Chicago... That's another place I wanted to fly to here recently, Chicago. I want to see that. Uh, I want to stay in a hotel overlooking like the river in Chicago. So it's like your city view, but your river view. And they have what that big bean, what's it called? Like the Chicago bean or something. Um, I want to go there. What is it called? The Magnificent Mile? If that's, is that what it's called? Because I want to come to Chicago so bad. And I want to stay up on a high level of... Um, Yes, I want to come to Chicago on a highlight. Like, literally, I was looking at flights. Y'all, I was literally looking at flights for Chicago. I'm not going to lie. Because uh, we've been to New York. We've been to Cali. We've been, like, the next big city is probably New York. I want to go to Utah, Wyoming, and then I want to go to Chicago. Chicago just has, like, they have these boats that go down, like, the river. I just have seen so many pretty views in Chicago. I just know you need to be careful as in all cities, just like going to New York, you just have to be careful. But, um, and just like Atlanta, same thing. That would be a fun vlog though. If we got to stay at a hotel by the river, that would be so much fun y'all. So if you live in Chicago, let me know like the place to stay. Is it the Magnificent Mile the best place to stay? There was like three options when I was looking. The Chicago River Walk. Yes. You go on vacation. Yes, I want to vlog all the vacations, y'all. So I'm going to vlog spring break. And I also want to vlog like I really want to go to Chicago, y'all. That might be our next trip after like spring break. Oh, okay, so that's expensive. So what's the part that's not expensive? <laughs> and do they have like shows in Chicago? Like what do people do in Chicago? Like what do you go see? Like if you visit Chicago, I know the bean, like that big, that big like bean thing. Oh, I'm excited to see y'all. Chicago food is awesome. So, okay. Yeah, the architecture, yes. So I want to see like the river, all the buildings, and like Connecticut, Navy Pier, and Ferris Wheel. Okay, so the Navy Pier and Ferris Wheel is in Chicago. So where do I stay other than the Magnificent Mile to get, don't you have to stay on the Magnificent Mile to see the river to be like on the river? Yeah, Chicago is best sightseeing. Maine. Oh, I've actually heard of Maine. One of my son's friend's family lives in Maine. Cash's friend's family lives in Maine. Do the boat tours. Okay, so ha do y'all watch Love is Blind? Because if you watch Love is Blind, I think the recent Love is Blind is in Chicago. And they did a boat tour. And I, that's what I want to do. We stayed in the Madison Avenue. The view was great. Okay, so y'all let me know, Hilton. So I'm going to save this live, of course, to my page. But, like, let me know where to stay. 
to where I can see. I want to, like when I stay at a hotel, I like to stay really high up. I like to have a view of like the river and the city. But you can stay a few minutes away and take the, they have a trolley? A few minutes away and take the train to downtown to the river. Okay, let me check. Maybe the, I saw the Drake. I saw the Drake. So I looked at the Drake. The Drake did look nice. I looked at Drake um, because I was looking at flights. Y'all, okay, let me tell you this about flights. I don't know if it's just from Atlanta to other places. Okay, I always fly Southwest. Love Southwest, always have been. Always love them. They have a low fare calendar. So if you go to a Southwest site and go to low fare calendar and look at wherever you want to go, they have deals where you can fly for $49. They're $49 back. So I always go on Southwest and I had saw... Well, first of all, you can fly into two places in Chicago, I think Midway and then somewhere else. Y'all let me know where I need to fly in. And I saw some cheap, cheap flights because I was going to fly to Chicago. I wanted to fly to Chicago, but I want to be at the right place. But I did see the Drake. I did see the hotel, the Drake, and they had reasonable prices. Oh, thank you. Uh, All this is, we're having so much fun. Oh, that's another thing. Check out Amtrak. So Amtrak, that's a, that brings me to a whole other thing. So I, I've never, I've never rode a train to anywhere. Like in Amtrak, I've heard, like I wanna do an overnight stay on a train as well. Like I wanna travel, y'all. I have like the travel bug in me. I wanna travel. Midway is easier. Yeah, that's what everybody said that was closest to like downtown Chicago. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so, let, so I need to fly into Midway. And is there, like, certain shows that you see? Like, what do people do when they come to Chicago? Is it certain shows? Is it just, like, the architecture and the places? Like, are they known for? What's the food that they're known for? I know what. Chicago pizza? <laughs> How long have we been on live, y'all? I don't know. An hour? in 17 minutes oh thank you midway is in chicago is there also chicago pizza that would be amazing i would love to do a chicago vlog y'all now now i have like now i want to go the buckingham fountain okay so y'all are giving me some i'm gonna save this so i can see all of this oh this is um this how I always make my cocktails. And yes, this was a midday cocktail. We started, we started this at like one something. It's 3.07. It's 3.07. So we started, and I've had this same drink. It's almost gone. I'm not going to pour no more because I need to eat some, probably some chicken salad. So I had this ice drink. Again, zero sugar, zero everything. Literally like five calories, no sugars, no nothing. How many calories? I don't really watch, like, I watch calorie and carbs, but I'm not counting them. Hey from NC, hey. Our institute is a must for me. That's in Chicago? The Blue, Blue Man Group. Oh, so that's kind of like, they have that in Las Vegas. Sorry, I'm trying to read if I look crazy looking at it. So, okay, replace chips. Here we go. I'm glad you asked. Let me show you. These are what I replace chips with. And I just recently bought these from Lidl. These are Wicked Crisp. They are hummus, hummus chips. Now, they have carbs. If you can see that, they have carbs but not bad. They're only 110 calories. They're, oops, they're baked, not fried, and they're so good. Oh, thank y'all. But these are what I eat for chips now. I just found these recently at Lidl. They're on a haul. Oh, these are at Publix? 
I'll have to see. I tagged them. They actually commented on my Instagram. Uh, because I tagged their... I got something on my hand. Because I tagged them. These are really good. Okay, tourist area near Riverwalk. Hold on, boat tours. Millennial Park. Oh, that's another one. Millennial Park. The Willis Tower and Navy Pier is all expensive. Mm. Oh, y'all, where is it affordable? They... I don't know that they taste like hummus. I don't... Hey, y'all, I don't know what they taste like, to be honest. Like, they're good, though. Cayman, I bought the red curry ones. They had red curry. He ate the whole bag yesterday. The whole bag. Let me check the chicken. Let me check the chicken, guys. Let me check the chicken. Oh, it's looking good. Just shaking around. It's looking a little... That's perfect. It's looking a little crispy. If you can see that, that's done. Let me turn it off. Let me have it sitting there. Let me put it in a little container because I got to chop up the onion and everything, y'all. My chicken is done. Can you see me over here? I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop stuff. But I get my little container. Iceberg lettuce with tuna. Yes. Yeah, so when I make this chicken salad, look, you can tell that has a color to it. When I make this chicken, <laughs> these are from Dollar Tree. When I make this chicken salad, um. You can put it in a lettuce boat. Yeah, the chicken looks so good, y'all. So I gotta actually chop up. I love this. Um, we're just gonna chop together. You know what? We're staying live for a minute. We're gonna chop this up. We're gonna cut this onion. We gotta cut onion. We got relish. Am I taking up y'all's time today? NC. Hey, from North Carolina. Y'all haven't been to North Carolina so long. My niece lives there. My niece lives in Asheville. And I love Asheville. Asheville is so nice. Mmm. That's gone. Now I need to drink some water. South Carolina. I have family in South Carolina. Have y'all? Did y'all see that video where I traveled to visit my granny? I actually need to go back. But we are cutting our onions, and this is a small onion, y'all, and this is all I have left. Welcome to the live. Oh, I love spending time with y'all, y'all. Kaya's in her room. I wonder if she's like, her friend's supposed to come over. I wonder what she's doing in there. The boys are at work, so I was just like, you know what? I'm supposed to be cleaning my room at this moment, <laughs> decluttering my closet, but this sounds like a better idea, you know? Anything to distract me from what I really need to be doing. But I did the haul. So, again, after we get off the live, I'm going to do the haul. Hopefully, y'all go watch that. The fella is a... <laughs> I need to flip the camera and show y'all. If I flip the camera, y'all, I have my haul stuff on the couch. So, don't judge me. I literally just did a haul. But I'm going to flip the camera and see if I can do it. Hold on. That's him on the couch right there. You see him with the blanket? And that on the couch right there is my hall stuff. But do you see him laying on that brown blanket? No, nah, that's him. And all that stuff on the couch right there is a haul that I just did. But look at him. He is, fella. Look at him. He lifted his head up. He was sleeping. <laughs> all right, let me flip, flip it back. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Let's see if we can get... Can you get me cutting? Okay, this is a different angle. Go off. This is all my coffee stuff right here, y'all. Really doesn't get used now. This is my favorite syrup, though. All right, but I'm going to focus, Tiffany. I'm working on this chicken salad. I'm cutting this onion. But y'all saw a fella over there just living his best life. I got the balcony door open. It's just a beautiful day in Atlanta. He's just chilling, y'all. He's quiet. The cats, I think, are on the balcony still. Kaya's in her room. The boys are at work. It's just a vibe today. It's just quiet and calm. Now, when I cut onions for chicken salad, there's no rhyme or reason, y'all. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm just cutting. 
The boys are happy with any chicken salad that I make. As long as I make it, they're happy. Hot chocolate in my car. No, that's like a mocha, but I have had that at uh, Starbucks. No, the, the cat can't leave. The cat can't leave the balcony. They, they love, okay, Stella hates the balcony because it's loud. I thought for a minute she was scared of heights, but she's a cat, so I wouldn't think she would be scared of heights. I think it's the loudness of the traffic, but Bella and Ella love the balcony. They just look at the birds. They just look over. They just sit and relax and lay in the sun and sunbathe. And listen, they love it. And they have a hummingbird feeder, so they just watch stuff. So I'm cutting these onions. I need to go get sushi before sushi is gone, you know? That's how it is at uh, Kroger. Those salmon sushi go so fast. What are y'all doing this Sunday? It's uh, not Sunday. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. <laughs> It is Saturday. Y'all tell me, how do I do the super chat? Y'all were telling me how to do super chat. Oh, I've always wanted to um, volunteer for an animal shelter. Actually, Kaya would love that. She always wants to go to the Humane Society, y'all. And I have to say no, because every time we go to the Humane Society, we come home with an animal and I can't do it no more. We can't have no more. <laughs> Y'all realize the reason we have the cat and the dog, the three cats and the dog, is because of Kaya, right? This so, all right, I just did this onion. And then I'm going to put the relish in there. How about y'all go make y'all some chicken salad, too? This chicken salad is literally going to last me to the end of today. When the boys get off at 6 o'clock, it's going to be gone. It is going to be gone. Yeah, every time we go to the Humane Society, we come home with an animal. Have you ever taken... Yes, y'all, I have a culinary degree. I have a degree for culinary. I went to Le Cordon Bleu. I went to Le Cordon Bleu. It was fun, too. I went... You know, I had all three of my kids when I went. I graduated from there. And um, it was definitely an experience. But I also learned... Like, you know how you go to college or you go to school for things and you, once you're in that trade, you realize, well, like, if you can do it or not do it? Like, I could use my culinary degree in, like, a company that I own, but I couldn't go work for, like, a big kitchen because you work all day. You work 12, 15-hour days, and I couldn't do that with children. And when I got the culinary degree, I was... A lot younger my kids were young I mean that was 10 years ago I got that degree 10 years ago um, there was just no way as a single mom I could do that there was no there was no way y'all and you don't make enough in the kitchen when you first start out to to be able to pay a babysitter like there was just no way I could do it I did everything I could like I had a cake business I did a cake business on my own um, I would post up at fairs and sell slices of cake or wherever I could, but there was no way I could work in a kitchen with those hours and being a single mom. No way. So I got, I'm about to cry over here. I got onions and then we're going to put dill relish. Again, my kids love dill. This is basic chicken salad for teenagers. So put a good bit of dill relish in there. This is not mom's fancy chicken salad. This is teen approved. What does it say? Watching the movie Netflix. Okay. Rescued by Ruby. Oh my gosh. Rescue. I need to write that down. Rescued by Ruby. Watch, while this person said that, what's your name? Doris. Doris, thank you. Y'all give me, in these comments, give me some ideas for Netflix Okay, I have Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu. Y'all leave me some really good movies or seasons. Like, 
try movies i love watching movies so give me some good movies please give me some good movies so we have our chicken here y'all give me some good movies i need something to watch okay y'all see this chicken it came out wonderful a little crispy which i love because the mayonnaise is gonna The mayonnaise is going to just soften it so good. Take you two forks. I need to. Okay, sweet magnolias. I think I've seen some of sweet magnolias. Okay, so we have our dill relish onions. My kids have Enchanto. <laughs> Invent so I started inventing Anna. I started it, but I haven't got all the way into it. Primal. I haven't seen some of those. In the heat of the night, it could happen. Yeah, y'all leave me some so I can see it once this live is done. This is the long live. Who's still with me that started this with me? Who is still with me that started this with me? Are y'all ready for my Dollar Tree haul? I have a Dollar Tree haul coming up. Y'all will not believe some of the stuff that I found at Dollar Tree. Oh, Virgin River, y'all. I am I'm on Virgin River. I'm actually re-watching it. That's how much I like it. I love that show. Oh, and so the 20th, so next Friday, a new Bridgerton comes out. The new season of Bridgerton comes out. Did y'all watch that? Did y'all watch Bridgerton? Oh, Miami. You're still with me. Y'all love Miami. Cash said when he went to Florida, because he went to Fort Lauderdale, but he said him and his friend took an Uber to South Beach. So they did get to see South Beach, which is good. Tennessee. Y'all, my dad lives in Tennessee. I love going to, my dad lives in Chattanooga, and I love going to Chattanooga. He lives near the Harrison, Her, I think it's the Harrison Lake or Bay. The Harrison, this is always so packed with people. Okay, now I'm just like shredding the chicken, if you guys can see. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just shredding chicken to make chicken salad. Bridgerton, and I'm impatiently waiting to because Lord, honey, as a single woman, Bridgerton was amazing. I, you know what I might do? I might go watch, re-watch Bridgerton, the whole se like season one. I might go re-watch it so I'm ready for season two next week. Because I'm waiting. Y'all still here? Thank y'all for still being with me. What y'all doing though? Are y'all like cooking, cleaning? What y'all doing? Are y'all just sitting around the house? Are y'all just relaxing? Like, what y'all doing? I want to know. What are y'all doing? Are y'all cooking with me? Are y'all making some chicken salad? Look, fella's down here. He said, I smell chicken. Should I give him a piece, y'all? Let me give him a piece with no seasoning on it. Hold on one second. And it's a little hot. Hold on, fella. I'm going to give you a piece of chicken with no seasoning. You want some? Y'all, puppies is like toddlers. He's right here. Bella, come right here. I'm going to see if y'all can see him. Right here. Some chicken. Oh, he likes that chicken. He wanted him some chicken salad too. Oh, I'm glad you cooking with me. Let's cook, girl. What you cooking for lunch? Oh, y'all, Sandra Bullock. Oh, hold on. She has that new show. Is that what you're talking about? Go on, just, I want to see that movie too. The Lost or something like that. So with Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum. I want to go see that. I recently saw Batman twice, y'all. Batman is a three-hour movie. And I went to see it on a date. And then I went to see it with Cayman. Three-hour movie each because I promised both of them. So I did both. So we went to a date and watched it, and then I went with Cayman. It was good. Batman's good, but Lord, a three-hour movie, y'all. 
And I want to see the lot. Was it the Lost City with Sandra Bullock? Sandra Bullock's one of my favorite actresses. Um, her and uh, um, Sandra Bullock and what's her name? Julia Roberts. Yes. And I want to see that. And then I saw. Did no. And I want to see Dog. And I want to see Dog. Yes, I do. I saw that. I saw the previews for Dog, which looks really funny, really good. So I want to see that, and then I want to see The Lost City, and then I want to see um, Ambulance. I think I just saw the, like they had the poster at the, um, ooh, Chicken Enchiladas. My son wants to see that. Y'all, Batman is good, but it's a three-hour movie. So either wait till it comes out to where you can see it at home, or just go to a place that has a comfortable reclining seats, because that's where we went. We went to a comfortable place. Y'all, I'm to the point where I'm just breaking this apart. Movie date. I never did that. Yeah, y'all. I went on a movie date, but then I kind of regretted it just for the simple fact because I had to go again with my son. So, I watched Batman twice at the theater, three hours each. That was a lot. And, like, I'm not a Marvel person, but, I mean, it was a good movie. I can't lie. It was a good movie. But... I don't know, y'all. I might have cooked this chicken too long. Too long. I'll wa yes, three hours is a long time for a movie. Okay, Titanic, I'll watch it. Titanic, I'm there for any of the romance. I, I love romance movies. I'm a hopeless romantic, so I love romance movies. But Batman? My son loved it, so that's all that mattered, I guess. Time I can't get back. <laughs> yes, it is. Definitely time I can't get back. Now, it was worth it with my son. I'll say that. It was worth it with my son. I can't say it was worth it on the date, but it was worth it with my son. I'll spend three hours for him. Nobody else but him. Hey. Y'all, I love Titanic. I'm sorry. I'm a hopeless romantic, so the Titanic, I will. Could, I watch Titanic to this day, y'all. Dog is based on a real... Y'all, I want to see Dog. I really do. It looks so good. It looks so... Who are you barking at? Who are you growling at? Nobody's out there on the balcony. Look at Stella. Y'all, Stella's at the door. She's listening to the birds. So, Stella won't go outside. Let me show y'all real quick. Stella won't go all the way outside. See her right there by the fireplace? She won't go on the balcony. She'll just watch. I think she's afraid of how loud it is out there. But... She won't go out there. And again, don't mind those bags on the on the couch. That's from the haul that I just did. I got to unpack it all. But uh, she is right there. Oh, you're making chicken salad too. We're making it together, y'all. Hopefully, you can still see. Right, right, right. Okay, look at this, y'all. I ripped it all up. This is nice roasted chicken. Can you see me all the way? I might need to check. Y'all see all my stuff on my coffee thing? Fella. This thing might fall on. Ooh. I'm crooked, y'all. I'm trying. Okay, now for the mayo. Because we did all that. This is full. I got the onions, the pickles, and the chicken. And it, look how good that chicken looks. Like a roasted chicken. I mean, if you don't have the time to roast your own chicken, y'all, get a rotisserie chicken. It's okay to take shortcuts like that. Do it. The Good Witch Netflix. I, I have not seen that yet. Let me get another spoon. I gotta unload this dishwasher. Kai loaded it for me. Hey, y'all. Hey. So, I'm gonna start with... Uh, Two spoons of mayo. I don't like mine too mayonnaise because we're watching what we're, you know, the calories and stuff. But we're going to mix this up. This will be gone today. This will be, oh gosh. Gosh. But you need enough mayo to soften back up that roasted chicken, that air fried chicken. Oh, Lord, honey, look at that. Super Chat is where you, your subscribers... Oh, what? 
how long have you been? I've been live, y'all, an hour and 45 minutes. We're going on almost two hours. We initially came on here for the, the mix, but we've been on here for a while, y'all. If you're still with me, I appreciate y'all. But look at this chicken. We done decided to make chicken salad out of nowhere. Literally out of nowhere. Y'all see this chicken salad? They are going to love this. Yeah, that's enough mayo. I did two scoops of mayo. T these. But y'all, chicken salad on a boat of romaine, perfection. If you don't want to eat crackers, eat it on a boat of romaine. But that is done. I made a mess. You started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> y'all started. Yeah, I started out. Oh, gosh. I had never finished. I pulled this out to show you guys. And never. I literally have two left. and never ate it. These are the little strawberries. Oh, they all the way defrosted. Yeah, y'all, I don't go live very often. Get these, y'all. They're not bad on ingredients. Um, salt, pepper, parsley, and red pepper flakes. That's it. Again... This was for my kids, so it's very basic. Very basic. Teenagers like basic. Nothing fancy. If I was making it for myself, I would add cranberries, celery, walnuts, or almonds. But with teenagers, you can't do that, y'all. You just can't do it. Um, I got those from Lidl, but they carry these at Costco in a big bag, Kroger, Publix. These are almost everywhere. It's called True Fruit. True Fruit. Very good. They have strawberries, bananas, raspberries, blueberries. So good. Let me put this stuff up, y'all, real quick. Fella's waiting for me to drop something. Y'all want to see Fella come when I shake up the ice watch? Oh, hold on. Let me get me a drink. Oh, goodness. Oops, I accidentally dropped it. He didn't come. Oh, he came went right there. He goes after the ice every time, y'all. You didn't see him, but when I dropped it, a piece broke off and it went under the dishwasher, so he went and got it. He's chewing on the ice now. Dogs love ice. Every time somebody goes to make a drink, he comes right there. Oh, yeah, the true fruit, these are a must-have. And again, the carbs is 10 carbs, 5 total fat, 90 calories, and that's for an ounce. It's so good. So good. Let me um, clean up my cutting board. Oh, yeah. They're at Target, too. They're at Target. They're at Kroger. They're, any major grocery store, they're there. They're so good, y'all. I got that in my... I got to put this chicken salad in the refrigerator. Clean my cutting board. We done made chicken salad. The boys are going to be happy when they get home. Mine will be iced and chewed on and then leave. Yes. Yes. He always leaves half, half the ice on the um carpet. And then we have a wet spot, spot in the car. I cannot talk. And then we have a wet spot in the carpet. It's either on the rug or the carpet. And um, this looks so good. Let me find a top real quick. That looks so good. I need a, a big circle top. Here we go, right out of the dishwasher. So there's my chicken salad. It's done and ready to go. Euros, y'all, I love euros. We always eat at Grecian Euro. Oh, let me get some of my sparkling water. I had tried this in a haul. I got this from Dollar Tree, y'all. No, this one ain't it. This is from Dollar Tree, but I haven't opened this one yet. Where's my other one? It's over there. Let me go grab it real quick. Eat your ice, fella. Eat your ice. Come on now. Before you leave a wet spot in my carpet. This is the one I tried on the haul. 
This one we're drinking. Mmm. Freezer section. Yeah, go to the freezer. These are all, these are in the freezer section, like near the ice cream. Freezer. Freezer, 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 y'all. Actually, I saw Costco have a new version of this where it's the dried strawberries covered in chocolate in the, um, at Costco. But usually you find these in the freezer section. But I did see them have a freezer dried one. Let me put this up. This up. So tomorrow we're making steaks, sweet potatoes, and asparagus. And then today I'm just going to get me some sushi. And we're going to snack on this throughout the weekend. Just found the tabletop mirror. What tabletop mirror at Dollar Tree? I'm going to have to see. Oh, that's the that's the um, little one, the little circle one. Mm. I think Walmart has these. Y'all, but I have found these at Lidl. So I got this one at Lidl. It was the strawberry and I got a raspberry and I got a banana. And the banana had peanut butter and chocolate. But yes, these are really good. Finish this chicken salad. Wipe that down. I drank lemon juice out of the bottle. Oh, you did? I still think you should have. Oh, I already did the haul though, y'all. I did the haul and I got to post it once I go because it's already filmed and uploaded. The haul stuff is over there, but I filmed it already. That's why I'm kind of dressed up because I had filmed that. Oh, I love y'all. You found the chocolate cover strawberry? Yes, yeah, Target always has it, y'all. Mmm. These are so good. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank y'all. So maybe I should get off now. I've been on here for a long time, y'all. It is 3.35. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this video, y'all. Stop banana PB chocolate girl. I'm going to. Y'all, banana and chocolate is so good. They have these at Lidl. It's banana, peanut butter, covered in chocolate. You tell those went first. Those went fast first. Thank y'all so much. So we're about to get off. I hate to do this like I'm having fun with you guys. But it's already 3.36. I'm sure Kaya is wanting to come out. I don't know. Yeah, I'm always looking at it. Please do more. I will do more live, y'all. But as soon as we get off of here, I'm going to post the Dollar Tree haul. Y'all go check out the Dollar Tree haul. I have so many amazing finds. And stay till all the way to the end. Because... I found a hidden bag at the end, so stay to the stay to the end of the haul. But I, I enjoyed today going live with you guys, making this mix. But I will see you guys on my next video. I had so much fun with y'all. And I will save this, so if you didn't get it, you can come back and watch it. But I love you guys. And y'all go watch my haul. Seriously, I'm about to upload it right now. Love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. I got to figure out how to end this because I'm always lost. We're going to try. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs>